Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. In this video, we are going to talk about Python scripting in Abacus. It's a huge topic, so it's going to be a series and this video is the first part. Therefore, in this video, we will see how to run your first Python script, which is going to be a very simple Python script and we will do everything from scratch. Now, Python scripting in Abacus is very effective tool to automate pre-processing or even post-processing. Python scripting is mostly used for parametric study or to create repetitive geometry or to manage multiple job submissions and many more things. In today's video, we are going to see the example of creating repetitive geometry. As you can see over here, today we are going to consider fiber reinforced composite. In three dimensional, it will look something like this and we will assume plane strain conditions. So we can convert this 3D model into 2D model, which looks like this. As you can see in this geometry, there are multiple fibers and we are going to write a Python script, which will generate these multiple fibers. So manually first, we will create this geometry with only one fiber and then using for loop in Python, we will create multiple fibers like this. And as far as loading is concerned, we will just apply a tensile load like this. And maybe we will fix one point over here to avoid rigid body motion. For this matrix, we will assume material as polymer and Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio of polymer is given over here. And fibers are made from steel whose Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio is given over here. On purpose, I'm using very simple material models because that is not the aim of our video. Now, before we start, let's go through the process of Python scripting. Step one is to open Abacus CAE and do your basic modeling work which will be this geometry for our case, one square domain of polymer and a single steel fiber. This steel fiber we will model using partition command. And once you save your work in .cae file, Abacus will automatically generate one .jnl file as well. So in second step, we will open this .jnl file in notepad++. You can use any editor. Then in step three, we will save that JNL file into .pi file. .pi is a Python file. And then in step four, we will modify that .python file to create the geometry what we want. Once we open this Python file, we will see Abacus already saved all the steps we did using Abacus CAE. So we just have to find out where we did this partition and then put a for loop and repeat this partition for 15 more times. Also, we have to repeat the section assignment for 15 more times for all those 15 partitions. And finally, we have to select element type also for 15 more times. Once we modify that Python file, then we can run that Python script using Abacus. You can run it by using Abacus CAE or you can run it by using Abacus command as well. And just one important note before you begin, always when you want to do Python scripting, before you start doing your work in Abacus, once you open the Abacus CAE, just copy paste this entire line in command line at the bottom of Abacus CA. I will show you how. Let's start with Abacus CA. First step, set your working directory and then copy paste this line. You can find this line in the description box below. Paste it over here. Now you can go on with your modeling. We will discuss what this line does later. As of now, you can go on with your modeling. So let's start with part. I'm going to name it as composite, two dimensional. Let's first make a square. First corner 0, 0 and second 20, 20. Say OK. And now we have to make one partition, just one fiber. For that, I'm going to use this partition face command. Now, one more important thing is when you select partition for this face, Abacus will automatically change the origin from here to here. If you remember, our initial origin was 0, 0 was over here. But now if you see the 0, 0 is over here. So to change it back to 0, 0 over here, you have to go in this three dots, go into origin and select your initial origin again, which is minus 10, minus 10 with respect to the current origin. Say OK. Now your origin is again back over here. So just one partition, the center of circle is at 2.5, 2.5 and radius is 1.5. Therefore 2.5 comma 2.5. This is the center. And then another point I'm going to choose as 4 comma 2.5. Say done. And you can see one partition is created. Next, go to property. We have to create two materials. First is steel and set elastic properties. Young's modulus is 200 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. Say OK. And another material, polymer. Again, set elastic properties. 
Young's modulus is 1.7 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.4. Then create two sections. Section 1, let's say steel. Over here, choose material steel. And then one more time, section polymer, where you will choose material as polymer. Now assign the section. First, let's assign the polymer. For that, click somewhere over here and assign polymer and then of course steel for the fiber. Next go to assembly, create one instance, say ok. Next go to step, create a static general step. No need to change time period over here, maybe just initial I am going to reduce it to 0 0.01, maximum also maybe 0.1, this also I will reduce and increase the maximum number of increments. Say OK. Next go to load. Now over here I am going to apply pressure on top surface and on bottom surface. For that select pressure in load. Say continue. Top surface pressure may be minus 10. Minus because I want tensile loading. Again pressure on the bottom surface. Again minus 10. And just to avoid rigid body motion, I am going to fix one point, this point. That also we are just going to fix it along x direction. So select this point and choose u1 equal to 0. Then next go to mesh, select part over here first. Now you can see part is not in green, means we can't have a structured mesh. If you want structured mesh, you can do partitions. How to get a structured mesh, I have a separate video about it, you can check that out. But over here I am just going to keep it as a free mesh. Let's assign element type. First I am going to assign element type to polymer and I am going to choose plain strain elements. You don't have to change anything else, say ok and again steel plain strain. Then let's seed the part, maybe with 0 0.1, say ok and then mesh it. I am keeping a much finer mesh so that we will get a good quality mesh around this fiber. Then let's go to job. Create a job. You can give it any name. Say OK. And now you have to save the CAE file. So for that just go over here and save model database. Give any name. I will give composite and say OK. You don't have to submit the job. Once you save the CAE file, go to the working directory and over here you can see you will find one CAE file and you will find corresponding JNL file. Now open this JNL file in notepad++ and you will see something like this. First we have to change it to python. So go into file and then save as. Over here you have to change .txt to .py. and remove this .jnl. So now it will be composite.py and once you save it in a python format then you will see all these highlighted words and numbers everything. Now what this file contains is abacus already saved everything what we did in abacus CAE in the form of python commands. So you just have to find corresponding commands to what you did in CAE and then you have to put a for loop to repeat whatever you need. For example, we started with drawing a rectangle with points 00 and 2020. 20. Then we drew circle and we using that circle we partitioned our rectangle. So similarly see over here we created a material, one material is steel, one material is polymer, these are Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio, everything. So you will find everything what we did up to the final step where we created a job. Now what I am going to do is I will select the parts corresponding to these three tasks partition then section assignment and then element type selection and I will put a for loop to repeat those processes for 15 times to get geometry like this. So I will make those changes and then we will go over those changes again. Now I have done necessary changes so let's go over them one by one. I have marked the lines where I did changes by these blue circles so you can pause the screen and check those lines 
this python script is already available for you to download from this channel's github profile you can find the link in the description box below so first thing what i did is this is the partition what we did so i put the for loop for the partition and i repeated it 16 times i'm assuming you know some basic things about python like how to put a for loop if loop something like that in python the loops are managed only by tabs so whatever is after the tab it will come under this loop there is no end or anything so the syntax for many different things in python you can just google it it's not that difficult anyway so this is the partition for fiber and we are doing it now for 16 times first thing i change inside this is i made 0 0.1 0 0.1 over here you will see some random number over here now this is just to recognize the polymer so point 0 0.1 0 0.1 will be somewhere over here and it will always come inside the polymer so this gives us the face which we want to partition and always it will be a polymer i commented out these two lines as well this was where we were shifting the origin then the center point for our first partition is given over here x center 2.5 y center 2.5 and our radius is 1.5 therefore you can see the partition is at center x center y and the another point on the circumference of circle is center x plus radius and center y will remain at same. So over here I put some parameters. This is the beauty of python scripting. You can include parameters and then you can automate things. Again over here I made 0 0.1 0 0.1 and now once the partition is done for next partition we have to change the center location. So once partition is done I am moving the center to center plus 5. 5 because the distance between two partitions is Five. and this is just a small if loop so that we can get partitions like this first in horizontal direction and once we reach over here again next partition will be over here so this is one two three four five six seven eight and similarly like that so you can pause and check out the logic behind it so first is the partition next again i put a for loop for section assignment so this is the first section assignment for polymer which we will do only once but for all the fibers we have to repeat section assignment again for 16 times and always remember you have to reset the center x and center y to initial position in this one more thing we have to pay attention is whenever we assign a section abacus creates a set so for that set name you have to change that set name with every iteration otherwise abacus will overwrite those sets so for that what i did is i use this percent d and put the counter of loop as the set name i started with i plus one because set one is already over here so this will give us the name as set two over here for first iteration and then set three set four similarly up to 17 then one section assignment is done one more for loop we need for element type again set the center to initial position and put this set element type into for loop and over here also i put those parameters and that's it you can see over here the job will get created now once you do all these changes just save it go back to your abacus then create a new model database and to run the python script you have to go into file over here run script and you can see whatever python files you have in your working directory so as of now we have only one and say ok as there are many partitions and mesh is very fine it will take some time and this is it you can see 16 partitions if you go into mesh you can see it is meshed also quite well and that's it you can see everything is there so the materials are there section assignment is also there sections are there and loading is also there you can just check if loading is correct yes loading is also there job is also created so now you can just submit this job job is done let's go into results I am going to hide the mesh first and if you plot a deform shape this is our results. Now we have to do a better job at fixing one point we just fixed one point maybe we should fix one point over here also that's why it is tilted a little bit but anyway that's not the point of our video. If you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you are interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos 
are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.